Good evening, everybody, and welcome. We're on the road at Danvers. Clint Clasco kicking it off. Kicking off the Danvers Falcons at the 20 yard line. Down the sideline, pretty good return out near midfield. J.P. Kelter with the return gets it right out about to midfield. It's going to be first and ten Falcons from midfield. They put it right at the 50-yard line. So a pretty good start for Danvers. Try to run it straight ahead. That's Lombardi. Gets a yard. Second and nine from the 49. Jamis had a week off. They're one and old, classical one and one, coming off a big win against Brockton with a big stop on fourth down at the one yard line to win it 48 40 in a shootout. Triple stack I. Off the right side, Canova with the carry. And they're going to mark it at, looks like the 43 yard line. Six. So third and three. On the rim, 43 yard line. Harry Verk would love that triple stack eye off the left side, getting a couple. Canova and that's Canova. So here's the first big play of the ball game. Fourth down. We're calling it a yard. Actually, they need about the length of a football. Well, big fourth down play. Everybody in tight. Lombardi is the quarterback. And he keeps. And he gets inside easily for the first down. So Davis picks up the first first down of the ball game. He needed a yard. He got three. So they convert on fourth down. They have it at the classical 38-yard line, moving the football on the opening drive. Looking to go straight ahead, bouncing it off the right side. Canova on the carry. Galizzi and Joe Osso on, the, on the, the hit. They gain nothing on the play. It'll be second down and 10. That play was supposed to go straight ahead. They clawed, down to the outside. They shut it down. They stay tight. Rolling, coming to the near side, looking, throwing. Incomplete. Just past the dot. Number 81, Andrew Corliss. Incomplete. Third and ten. Drew Gray was the intended receiver. So it brings up a third and ten. And we got a classical player down. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you check out the snack bar presented by the Touchdown Club of Danvers. This week's specials, they have cookies from the Cookie Monster, as well as Chick-fil-A sandwiches. They also have pizza, cup of soup, popcorn. Classical on the road. And all kinds of food. Make your way over there. We mentioned coming off a big win against a good Brockton team in a shootout, 48 to 40. 
course, Brian Vaughn's Rams putting some points up on the board. And with all those points, they still had to make a stop on fourth down. And they stopped Brockton at the one-yard line on the last play of the game. Of course, they, if they get in, they still would have needed a two-point conversion, but it would have given them a shot. like the players getting up, which is good to see. Saving that left ankle or foot. Kevin Peniaqua is slowly coming to the near side. He's one of the captains of this team. They don't want to lose him. Hopefully he'll be okay and come back. He's really favoring that left foot or ankle. But he's walking out on his own steam. So let's hope he can walk it out and the trains will get him back. Third and ten for the Falcons on the opening drive of the ball game. Nice night for football. They break that triple I, they go spread, wide outs, right and left, to the far side, one to the near side. Dropping back, looking to throw. They set up the screen very nicely. And they're gonna get a big first down on the screen to Jack Strangey. That's Strangey. So they convert. They get a big first down. They get it down to the 10 yard line. They needed 10, they got 28 on that pass play. So first and goal right off the bat for Danvers. They go back to that triple stack eye. Last man through, diving to the five, maybe inside the five, is Erie. And he put it down right at the five. So he picked up five. Ninth play of the drive coming up. They give it to Erie, bounces it to the outside, and walks in for the touchdown. He took a step like he was going to go straight ahead and then busted it to the outside and was wide open. So the return to midfield got him started. They go 50 yards. In nine plays, Erie, the, the last two carries. And now going for two. They bang it in with Jack Strangey. So well, very quickly, Danvers jumps on top, eight to nothing. All right. Very quickly, Lassell's in a hole. This is for Brian Vaughn, virtually a brand new offense. Thousand yard passer, thousand yard receiver, gone from last year. Hard to replace those people. New running back. Chisono will be the quarterback. 
He's played well in the first two games. He's done a nice job. Good athlete. He's a baseball player as well. Max Leach to kick for the Falcons. So Damas will kick it off. Bouncing at about the 20 yard line. Finding a little bit of space. Pretty good return. They push him across the 35. Castro on the return. Angel, Valenzuela, Castro. Gets it out to the 37. So Glasgow got decent field position to start their first drive. Not as good as Damas at midfield, but Castro did a nice job getting some decent field position. Glasgow comes right out to the line of scrimmage. The spread, a couple of wide outs to the far side, one to the near side. Not going very far on the first carry. So with the carry. Wait for him to put the ball down. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Second and ten Rams. The reason for the wait is they call classical offside. Damas refused. Now the officials are going to have a conversation. Trying to decide if they made the right call. I think they're going to mark it off against Glasgow. Nope, they put it back at the 35. So they lost two. That's why they refused the penalty. They're quick out, and they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to lose some more. They put it to 33. They lost two more. So third and 14. And I had to give it right back to Damage after they just went down and scored a quick touchdown. Three wide outs to the far side, one to the near side. Looking to the sideline to get the play. Might have, might have changed the solo. Relaying it. Dropping back. Looking to throw. Let's have fly long and deep and too far. And they're going to call interference, I think. Jeffrey Hill was the intended receiver. He got crunched. Everybody's coming up field like it's going to be at the point of contact, but it's not. It comes back to the line of scrimmage. Well, if it's 15 yards, it'll be a first down. So they're marking off against Danvers. And that'll give Classical their first first down. That's a they're moving out to the 48. <coughs> so Classical gets a break. They have it. First and 10. They we're going to have to punt. Hill got squashed between three defenders and he just knocked them down. Hill, pretty good three point shooter. Ah, the officials are discussing something again.
coming over to talk to Brian Vaughn about something. They're going to move the ball. I don't know what, what they're doing. The line of scrimmage was a 37. They're putting it back at the 43. So they only gave him 10 yards on the penalty, not 15. Something down in four. And they hit Tishono in the backfield. Boy, they na nailed him for a loss. So what looked beneficial to classical, 15 yards, they changed it to 10. That's going to bring up a fourth down and five for Lynn Classical. They move it to the 42. And they boot it away. Number five, Kyle Durant. They let it roll. Kick rolls the five. It's going to roll all the way down to about down almost the two yard line. What a nice kick. We've used up just a little bit less than seven minutes. They're going to put the ball at the damage three yard line. Off the right side. That's Finally good. pushed out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds at the 30 yard line for game 47. That's a first and 10 Falcon. Out to the 30. 27 yards. They quickly got out of that trouble spot at the three yard line. It'll be first and ten for the Falcons. And they stay in that triple stack eye. Quarterback keep. Body on the keep. Shot. One or two yards. The game of two, second down and eight. Second and eight at the thirty two yard line. Second possession for Damas. They lead it eight to nothing. They went 50 in nine plays opening the ball game. Bouncing it to the right side. Dragged down after he gets across the 35 Canova is Canova. Good forward progress to the 39. He picked up seven. Third down and one. Third down and a yard. Third and one from the 39. Last time they stuck with the quarterback. Now they don't have to do anything because Glass will jump. It's going to give him five yards. So Glasgow helps him. Offside from Glasgow. And that's the new rule. Before, if you jumped, didn't make contact, got back before the ball was snapped, you were okay. Now, if you step inside, break the plane, 
it's a penalty whether you touch or not. And that gives Demas a first down. Going straight ahead, now cutting it back to the outside and getting good yardage. Taken down by Tola Solo. Into classical territory again. Down to the classical 44. So he goes from the 44 to the 44. 12 yards in the first down. And Danvers on the move again. Got hit, spun off, not going anywhere. And that was Erie. Chase Erie. They put it back, no gain on the play. No gain. Second and ten. Looking to throw, they got a man open. Down the sideline, wide open. Strangey with the catch. They've been running, running, running. They faked it, and Strangey got behind the defense, and Lombard threw it. Lombard put it right in his lap. 44 yards. That's a 97-yard drive in six plays helped up by that classical offense, uh, offside. And Max Leet knocks it through. And all of a sudden, Damas is ahead 15 to nothing. Classical thought they had a break on that last drive. They had a, what they thought was a 15 half penalty was going to give them a first down. And after a discussion, they moved it, made it a 10 yard penalty. So they still needed four. And then they wound up losing a yard. And they had to kick it away, and Danvers takes advantage. to the far That's side, the can't turn the corner. Castro with the return. Castro's going to get pinned back in their own end. Right at the 20 yard line. Davis has had two possessions. They've gone almost 150 yards. Fake keep. Uh, getting the quick out to Kyle Durant. They fake the run. They get to the 25. That's their first plus play. And we're winding down this first period. And now they're bringing it back. There's a penalty on the play. 
They bring it back to the 15. It's going to be a first and 15 from the 15. The quick out. Pass complete to number 10, Jeffrey Hill. Hill with the catch. They get back to the 20. They pick up the penalty. So second and 10. Castle doesn't want to punt. They don't want to give the ball back to Damas anyway, but they don't want to punt from here. Shoshona with the keep. Started to the far side. Comes to the near side. Runs out of bounds for a big first down. That's a gain of 17 yards. Good job by Daniel Gisono. Gets their first first down. Picked up 17. Out to the 37. Three wide outs to the far side, one to the near side. And not going anywhere on that play. Just only with the keep is going to lose a yard. Now they double the white house to either side. Out to the sideline, slipping a tackle, and finally getting hit. Sequera. They picked up five. So they need six on third down. Three white outs to the far side, two to the near side, just so by himself. Over the middle, caught. The Summers. Summers with the catch. They got to the Damas 48 yard line. They picked up 11 and a first down, and that ends the first period. A big period for Damas. They had the ball twice. They gained 142 yards, and they put 15 points on the board. Also, finally getting on the plus side. Hustle's got 13 yards rushing, 19 yards passing, two first downs. And they've got a mountain to climb. They're down two scores. And we're through the first period. They have it at the Damers 48 yard line. So runs it straight ahead. They put it to 46. They'll give him two. Second and eight for the Rams. They give it to So again. Down to the 43, maybe the 42. Third and five 
Tosono with the keep coming to the near side. It gets a first down a little bit more as he gets to the 35, maybe inside. So classical moving the football. They're going to put it at the 35. He picked up eight. Looking to throw, lobs it up, and looking for Hill. Hill was more to the inside of the field. Tusono thought he was going to break it to the outside. And there's another penalty flag. Davis is backing up like it's against them. There it is. Holding against the Falcons. And that will be another first down for the Rams. First and ten from the Falcons' 25 yard line. So they move it to the 25 on the first down. They double the White House to either side. They give it to So. Squeezes a yard, maybe down. two. At the most. They give him one to the Second 24. Second down and nine on the 24. Second and nine from the 24. Haskell looking at cut into a 15 point Danvers lead. So straight ahead, finds a hole. He's going to get a first down. They get the 11. He picked up 13 and a first down. So classical on the move. Incomplete, looking for Summers. Down that left side. Second and 10 from the 11. So straight ahead, gets it down to about the seven. Third and goal from the seven. And now class is going to call a timeout. They saw this at the 20 yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, who does not 14th play coming up. I know everybody wants a thousand bucks in their pockets. Make your way over to the merchandise. Firstly, I must score. You can't use this much time off the clock. Trailing 50 nothing and not get it in. You want to get in and cut into that lead. Not only that, you want to score and get some type of a conversion. So even if it's only one. You cut it to one touchdown. You don't get the conversion. It would still be two scores. So it's been working on both sides, offensively and defensively, back to football. Jasono keeps, cuts it up inside, stays in his feet. Gets in the end zone. That looked like it was going to be run it wide, maybe pitch to so or keep it. He kept it. Stepped back and ran straight to the goal post. And just as he got hit, he fell into the end zone for the touchdown. So a nice drive by Classical.
80 yards in 14 plays. Durant will make it, or try to make it, 15 to 7. And he does. He's a pretty good athlete, too. Good outfielder. Well, Glasgow gets back in it, trailing by one score. Now they have to find a way to shut Damas down. Damas is two for two. Possessions and touchdowns. 50 yards in nine plays, 97 yards in six plays. We've used just over three minutes in the second period. So a lot of football left. Plus we'll have to find a way of shutting down this running offense, and when they do, they throw it. They've thrown it twice, and they've been successful twice. Won a big 20-yard pass play on third and 10 on the first drive and one for a big 49-yard touchdown on second and 10. Other than that, it's been a triple stack guy running the football. Kick didn't go deep. Kale Wallace with the return. It doesn't make any difference where they started from. They started from midfield and they scored. They started from their three and they scored. Now they're going to start from their 31. Everybody in tight again. Erie with the carry. Gain of four, second down, six. We'll call it. Uh, the ball actually is across the 35, so give him five. Second down and five, the ball at the 36. The pitch, turn the corner. Here we got a head of steam up and gets it into classical territory. That's going to put it right at midfield. So he gets 19 and two carries. And Damas is on the move again. Pitch coming to the near side, cutting it up inside, getting ahead of steam. And now things get over with a 50 yard touchdown run. Canova takes it to the house. He started to come to the near side and then saw a little opening and he broke it straight to the goalpost and nobody touched him. So he take that momentum right away. Strangey takes it in again for the conversion. That momentum, classical just picked up, just left. 69 yards in three plays. They go over 100 yards rushing, and they go over 200 yards of offense, and we're not halfway through the second period. The 
Well, class has to go back to work again. It's a three-headed sword with Canova and Erie and Strangey. Get the number of that truck. He stepped across the 25 and got lifted off his feet and knocked down as he gets to about the 27 yard line. That was Durant on the return. The 12 yard return, first and 10 Rams on their own 27. At the 27 yard line. Glasgow has to go back to work, try to cut into this deficit. Calvin Shaw on the carry, met by number 55, Tom Wallfield. They pick up four on the pass play, second and six, actually third and six. Jasona looking to throw again. Let's it fly deep downfield, incomplete. Looking for Summers. Class was going to have to kick it away. And they have to give it right back to the Falcons. They almost blocked it. Fielded right at midfield. And running with it as soon as he caught it was Camellia. There was a white shirt right there. I don't know if he thought he was going to fair catch it or what, but he, he caught it on the fly. And it got the ball down at the class for 39. So they kick from the 31. It's a net of only eight yards. And Damas is right back at it at the classical 31 yard line. And they threw the pitch away. They threw it behind Canova. That's a loss of five, second down 15. That's their first negative play. Off the right side. I think I saw a flag coming in there. And over got it back. This is where it's going to be marked off from the spot of the foul, which is the 37 yard line. Mark it back. Actually gave him eleven yards. They had they move it back. We'll call it the forty eight. It's just a step ahead of the forty eight. So 
So they need 23 yards. Off the left side, down the sideline. Nice run by Canover again. They're getting big chunks of yardage. Running right, running left. Again, a 14, it's going to bring up third and nine. He got it down to the 34 for 14 yards. So now it's a manageable nine yards. They just needed 23. Now they need nine. And here he comes again, straight ahead. Found a little seam, just a little bit of a hole. Bounced it to the outside and gets it down to the 21. And Damers is knocking on the door again. So they just needed 23 yards. Canova just picked up 27 in two carries. First and goal. They're a yard away from the red zone once again. Started to the outside, cut it back to the inside, gets inside the 20. That's eerie with the carry. They give him the 18 for three. Second and seven. Second. Seven. Nothing fancy. Damn is just saying, here we come, try and stop us. That triple stack guy. Here you again get hit right at the line of scrimmage. Kevin Peniaqua nailed him. I'm going to call it no gain. He lost about a foot. Third and seven. Rolling. Lombard with the keep. Gets to the 15, maybe inside the 15. Lombardi scrambles down to the 14 yard line. 13 yard line. He picked up five. So here's a big play for both teams again. Fourth and a couple. Well, under two minutes in the half. Glasgow well, almost jumped. Now they're going to go back to the spread. The flag on the field. Now we got a flag. So they gain Falcons. Davis saw Glasgow almost jump. I think they thought. It might be against them. How are they going to? I'll wait and see who they mark it off against. They haven't marked anything yet. How they have? They mark it back to the 18. So it needs seven. They go to the spread. Low snap, Lombard handles it. Rolling to the near side. Lobs it downfield, we got a flag. And we got a flag downfield as well. That's probably gonna be interference in the end zone against Clasco. Lombard was running for his life, he just threw it up for grabs. There was a flag when he, where he was, where he threw the ball, there was a flag in the end zone. <coughs> but see what the calls are. 
pass interference against classical, not accepted. Personal foul, hitting the quarterback in the head. They'll take that one. So the ball's not going to be at the 18 dot line, which is where it is now. They're going to, they haven't marked it off yet. Now they changed it to roughing the passer. And it probably should be half the distance. It should be like the nine yard line first and goal. And they do, they put it at the nine. So first and goal and Davis is gonna try and beat the clock. First and goal, Danvers on the Castle 9 yard line. 104 on the clock. Castle doesn't want to go down any further if they can. They're down two scores. Trying to run it straight ahead, they're going to get wrapped up in the backfield. Guy St. Hilaire with the, with the hit. First carry for Kelter. They lose three. Incomplete pass. They're trying to beat the clock. I'll bring up a third down. Pass intended for number 14, J.P. Kelter. Incomplete, third and goal from the 12. Third and goal from the 12. They stay in that triple stack eye. Straight ahead, bounce it to the outside. He's going to walk in. I don't know if Classical thought they were going to throw the ball. He started straight ahead, took one little side step, broke it to the left, walked in easily. So they make it four for four possessions and touchdowns. I think they're going to try to kick the point here. Thirty-five yards in seven plays, and Leap kicks it through. And all of a sudden, with twenty-four ticks on the clock, ladies and gentlemen, before the kickoff. I want to announce the 50-50 It's a 23 yard, a 23 point lead for Darius. They're leading by three scores. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a white raffle ticket, you are not a winner. So sorry. If you have a blue raffle ticket, ticket number 303002. 178 three, yards three, rushing. Zero, zero, two. If you have that ticket, you have won the 50-50 raffle ticket for three. 250 hours. yards exactly for Damas in this first half. Classical has 74. So they looked like they had a little momentum cutting it to 15 to 7. And Damas said, I don't think so. Covered by number 21, Andy DeLeon. They hit it to a lineman. Down. First and ten Rams. I don't know what Glasgow will do here. 
at the classical 36. Once again, that 50 50 ticket is 3 0. 3 0. I would pick. Zero, two. I don't think they'll take a knee, but I don't think they're going to do anything wacky here. The quick out to Summers. Goes forward and gets pushed back. Summers is met by number 10, Russell Canova, and number 12, Colin Pelter. They give him a yard. And, and that's going to run the clock out. So a big first half for Damas. They put 250 yards of offense on the board. They score four straight times. Classical cut it to 15 to seven, but Damas gets two more in the second half. And at halftime, it's Damas 30, Classical seven. The band is led by senior drum majors Emma Moreland, Riley Garvin, and Mike Mahoney, and senior color guard captains Maddie Brito and Grace Donahue. Tonight the band will be performing the first two parts of their 2019 halftime show entitled Disney Adventures, featuring music from Disney's nighttime show Fantasmic and the movie Aladdin. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the wonderful world of Disney.
Welcome back as we're set to start the second half. Great performance by the band at halftime. Great performance by the Danvers Falcons in the first half. 250 yards of offense. They had the ball four times. They scored four touchdowns. They'll kick off to the Rams. And it goes out of bounds. The ball goes out of bounds beyond the 25 yard line. Flag on the play. Oh, they can have them kick it again, or they can take it. I think it. Mark it the 30 to mark off five yards. Looks like they're going to make them kick it again. So we'll have a do over. Coach Ryan Nolan has done a great job, and he was a defensive coordinator for a while, but in his three years as a head coach there, he's 15 and 8 as a head coach. He's 9 and 0 in September. Seven and three at home, twelve and five in the Northeastern Conference. So nine and zero in September, and he's well on his way. He had a week off. This is only a second game of the year for Jim. This is a kickoff again at the 21-yard line. Nice return. The ball went out. Jimmer said they have it, and they do. Kyle Ferreira recovers. At the classical 45, it was a nice return. Looked like they have good field position. And the ball just popped loose, and Ferreira was all over it. And Damas is in business again. Motion coming to the far side. Erie gets hit. Trying to battle for a yard or two. They give him a yard. Thirty to seven. Danvers on top. And they've got the ball at the classical 44-yard line. They try to run straight ahead, nothing doing. Getting up last was an equal. Miles Ayanu. Also in on the stop. No gain on the play. Third and nine. They go spread with three wideouts. They throw it back to the near side. Erie. Side. Broke to the middle and cut it back to the near side. They get it down to the 36. He picked up eight. Fourth down and a yard. They keep everybody in tight in that triple stack eye. Canova. Off the right side, that's Canova. He lost the ball. Classical came up with the football. Miles Ianu recovers it. 
So he giveth and he taketh away. He got to the 30 yard line for a pickup of six. But then Classical falls on the football. Canova had 146 yards rushing and two touchdowns in that first half. Now he's over 150 yards. Coming to the near side with a head of steam. Turning the corner, getting bumped out near the 40-yard line. Subio Quintana. They put him at the 40-yard line for a pickup of 10 and a first down. Five wideouts now. Tisono by himself in the backfield. Three to the far side, two to the near side. Now we have motion. Yeah, we might have had too much motion. He blew the whistle and going to class classical five. So it'll be first and 15. Motion again. They give it to Hill, trying to turn the corner. Try to get what he could. Danver shut it down, didn't let him get around the corner. They give him three to the 38. So it's second down and 12 for the Rams. Again, five wideouts, three of them to the far side. Motion coming to the near side. They fake it. Jasono keeps. And gets out to about the 47 yard line. Third and about three. The quick out. That Summers. That Glasgow overcomes the penalty, gets the first down, gets into Danvers territory. Timeout. Officials timeout. They put the ball down at the 42 of Danvers. So they picked up 11. First and 10 for the Rams. Again, just showing them by himself. Motion coming. They fake it to the motion man. Someone's just about going to get back to the line of scrimmage. He pushed him back, but they're going to give him back to the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play. Looking. Hill with the catch. They're going to put it out at the 36. He picked up six. Jasono gets hit. He's going to lose a yard. So bring up a big fourth down. Fourth and five from the 37-yard line. 
The three white owls come to the near side this time, two to the far side. Looking to the sideline for a call. Play being signaled in. Tishono looking to throw quickly, lets it fly long. Behind the defense, Hill makes the catch. He's dragged down, but he's in the end zone. They dragged him in the end zone. Nice throw. He'll beat the defense. Tishono laid it out perfectly. Nice pass, nice catch. 37 yards. Seventy yards in eight plays. They overcame a penalty. Durant does it again. And the extra point is good, making the score Denver's thirty, Newcastle fourteen. Newcastle well, gets it back to within two scores halfway through this third period. So he had to go 75 to get to 70 with that five yard penalty. They've gone over 150 yards now of offense, but they still have a mountain to climb and they only have a period and a half to do it. They just haven't been able to, they've shut Davis down once and that was the fumble. Davis was moving the ball. They would have had a first down on the play but they fumbled the ball. And Classical took advantage and went 70 yards. 54 of them on the right arm of Gisono. Hill with two catches for 43 on the, on the drive. Now at the 21 yard line. Getting across the 35 to about the 36 yard line. And Kelter with the return. The Falcons will start first and ten on their own. They're going to put it to 36, I believe. 36 yard line. That's where Daniels will put it in play. Wide out to the far side. Everybody else in tight in that triple stack eye. Last man through is Canova. Short yardage. Canova on the carry. They give him three. They're announcing the 40. I call it the 39 because they haven't got to the 40 yet. So it'll be second down and seven. A short seven. Here he gets hit. No gain on the play. Here on the carry. Third and seven. Third down. Uh, do we 
the time out. If they came up to the line of scrimmage, stop. No, nope. it's going to be a penalty against Damas. That had to be for too much time because nobody was up the line of scrimmage. Right. They couldn't move. Third down, 11. So I push it back to the 34. Now they need 12 to go back to the spread. Looking to throw, they let it fly deep. Caught. Nice catch by e Erie. Lombard put it where only Erie could get it. But he made a very nice catch. Down to the classical 47. 19 yards in the first down. So they have it when they need it, throwing the football. They're one yard shy of 100 yards passing. Off the right side. Picked up four to the 43. Second and six. Again, everybody in tight. Triple stack eye. Erie with the carry. Gets one or two. They put it at the 41, they give him two. Third and four. Third and four. Little reverse. A little trickery by Danvers. And it works all the way down near the five yard line. Kelter. They had everybody going to the far side. Kelter in motion. They handed it back. He came back to the near side. And he put it down at the six yard line. 35 yards on the first down. They're all over 200 yards rushing, and they're knocking on the door again. That's Erie, on the carry. Erie off the right side looking for a touchdown. Gets to the one. Knocking on the door again. Trying to make it five out of six possessions. The only time they were stopped, they were moving the football, but they coughed it up. Here we're getting the bulk of the carries now. Flag coming in. That's going to be against Danvers. Holding against Danvers. They put it back at the 10. What's a 90 yard penalty? 
I don't know if the holding was in the end zone. If they mark off 10 yards for holding, it only come out to the 10-yard line. Rolling to the near side, wide open in the end zone. When they do throw it, they're successful. That puts them over 100 yards passing. Great fake by Lombard. He rolled, drew the defense. Strangey all by himself in the right corner. Leet will look for the extra point. And he gets another one. So they go downfield again. Eight plays, 64 yards. That big reverse to Kelter got them 35 yards. A 19-yard pass to Erie, and then the 10-yard touchdown pass to Strangey. So they they throw it sparingly, but they throw it well. Over 100 yards passing. Two hundred and thirty four yards rushing, three hundred and forty three yards of offense. As we wind down this third period. Danvers putting on a clinic offensively. Passer on the return. Nice return across to 35. And it's Angel Valenzuela Castro again. Nice job. He's a nice job returning for Costco. They put the ball at the 37-yard line of Glasgow. Thirty-seven to fourteen. As I said, the only time Cl Danvers hasn't scored, they fumbled. Glasgow knocking it loose and picking up the loose ball. Otherwise, they're five for five. They haven't had to throw it much, but they've been very successful when they have. They throw it underneath. Hill with the catch. Out to the 43, picked up six. Game of six, second down four on the 43 yard line. Rolling, looking, let's it fly long and deep. Tipped and then almost tipped and almost caught. Looking for Summers, it got tipped away. I think it was Erie tipped it and tipped it. And Summers actually got a finger on it. Third down four.
the quick out. Not going to be able to get a first down, I don't think. That's going to be the last play of the period. Sequeira with the catch. It's the end of the period. They give him to the 44 for a yard. So 12 minutes of football left. Yeah, just kind of put this one away early. It's going like both times they had the football in the first half, they scored four touchdowns. So a big fourth down play. The quick out, they're not going to get there. Back to the line of scrimmage to Durant. So Damas will take over at the 44 yard line. Again, updating a few of the new rules. 12 minutes instead of 11. Three timeouts instead of five each half. Encroachment is a penalty whether you make contact or not, whether the ball is snapped or not. A brief, the triple stack, they're trying to go to the Far side. Classical blocked it. We got a flag coming in. Flag in the field. I'm not sure what that was about. Personal foul against Classical. Unsportsmanlike against the Rams. They gave him forward progress to the 42. For two yards. I didn't think he got anywhere. Now they're bringing it back from the 44, so don't give him the two yards. But it's going to give him a first down. That's a 15 yard penalty. First down 10. They mark it down to the 29. 15 yards on the penalty. Davis doesn't need the help. A little misdirection that's strangey with the carry. He picked up six. Second down four. Early moments of the fourth and final period. I don't use any question. Jamis is going to go to two and zero. Oh. Glasgow is going to go to one and three as they run it straight ahead with Erie. That's Erie on the carry. Got to get near the twenty yard line. We'll call it the twenty one and give That's him two. Two, bring it up to third and two. Third and a couple from the twenty one.
Lumbaugh with a quarterback sneak. Looks like he's got it. Lombardi on the feet. And that's enough for damage first down. He picked up three. Needed two. Gets the first down. First and ten at the 18 yard line. Yeah, we're into single digits on the clock. Closing in on nine minutes left. They go back to that triple stack eye. Erie with the carry. Erie on the carry. Off the left side. Cut it back to the goalpost and walks in for a touchdown. Eighteen yards. Forty four yards in five plays, helped out by that fifteen yard penalty. Books it through again. And Damas is not taking any prisoners. They only had to go 29 yards thanks to that 15 yard penalty. First downs for Danvers. 372 yards of offense. Yeah, yeah, Classical has been on their heels since the opening drive. And they have been able to stop the Danvers. All the Danvers stopped themselves fumbling the football. yards in nine plays, 97 yards in six plays, 64 yards in eight plays. Castro on the return, taken down by Kelka. Sixty-nine yards in three plays, thirty-five yards in seven plays. And now 44 yards in five plays. First and 10 at the 25. It's gonna be a tough ride, bus ride back to Lynn. We got a flag on the play. Now there's no flag on the field. I think they thought Classical had 12 players. Probably waved the flag off. The quick out to Summers. Slips the tackle. Nice job by Summers. Out to the 38, they picked up 13 and a first down. Over the middle, incomplete. Looking for Durant. Second 
Second and ten for the Rams. Hey, run straight ahead with so. Oh, Maybe his first carry in the second half. Six. Going quickly, they get out to the 44 for a pickup of six. Third and four. Quick out to Summers. We'll give him a first down. Into Damage territory. First and ten on the Falcons, 40. Nine yards on the play and a first down. Quick out again to Summers. He picked up nine. Started up the middle, brick to the outside. That's Quintana with the carry. And that's good enough for Rams first down. They put it, we'll call it the 32 and give them six. So first and ten from there. So with the carry. Gets to the outside. Turns the corner. He's gone. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Thirty two yards. They'll go for two. And they get it with Sequera. Sean was passed for 116. There was a penalty against Danvers. And Klaus was going to kick off from the Danvers 45 yard line. Seventy five yards in seven plays for the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. But don't play more than I think somebody else will catch it. Thirty one of them through the air for Jasono Summers having a very good game. And then so goes thirty two for the touchdown. And Why the ball okay? That might be Glasgow offside. 
So we're going to kind of little pooch it, trying to get an onside kick. <laughs> Jeffrey Hill and Brandon Summers have both caught passes for 54 yards apiece. Bouncing around, Damas will grab it and fall on it. Kelta fell on it. That's what's trying a little pooch kick trying to get the ball back. Davis will have it at their 35 yard line. So Canova has a couple of touchdowns, 165 yards. Erie ran for 58 and scored two. Bombard was five for seven for 109 yards and two touchdowns. Strangey had three carries for 82 yards, two touchdowns, and he ran in two conversions. And we're going to get some new faces for Danvers. Darren McDermott taking the knee for the Falcons. They lost a yard. And they're taking a knee to run this game out. Tishono had a good game. He ran for 55 and a touchdown. Uh, excuse me, passed 16-21 for 120 and a touchdown. He ran for 38 and a touchdown. So had 55 yards and a touchdown. Hill and Summers, 54 yards apiece. Danvers scored their first four times they had it. All four times in the half. The only time they were stopped, they fumbled the football away. Otherwise, they scored every time until they just took a knee to run the clock out. So Classical puts 22 on the board, but nowhere near enough as Damas puts up 44. Damas will go to 2 and 0. Classical will drop to 1 and 2. Uh, they put up a good fight, but Damas just had too many weapons, too many running backs. When they needed, they could throw the ball, and he did that very well as well. They go over 300 yards for the game. 109 passing. Had 263 rushing, 16 first downs, and 44 points. More than enough to win any football game. Damaris, 44. Clasco, 22. Clasco will go to 1 and 2. Damaris goes to 2 and 0. Oh. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm often saying we'll see you next time.